Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome to our flooring transformation video. The moment we have all been waiting for. Oh my God, what a painful journey that has been. I thought I could start this video off by just explaining the process because I just felt that that would be easier to just basically explain the process. So, before the video starts, so we ordered laminate flooring from a company called Fab Furniture, which were what well, used to be known as AHF. So we actually ordered our sofa with them. And when you order a sofa, you get 20% off flooring. So we thought, great, you know, that might work out a little bit cheaper for us. So we looked at the flooring when we ordered the sofa and we saw a lovely flooring in there which would have matched our sofa perfectly. So I'll pop a picture on the screen of the flooring that that was. We put the order through. As soon as we got the uh, moving date or like exchange of contracts, we ordered the sofa and the flooring. Paid for them, job done. Um, the order was, you know, in, in progress. So it was about a week or two into me placing the order and they said that the flooring would take about three weeks to be delivered. So on the second week, I don't know what made me do it, but I called up just to see how long my order would be, if it would be next week or, you know, just to be, I don't know, something was telling me to call them. So I called them up and I just said, oh, I'm just ringing to see when my order will be delivered. And they said, okay, one moment, just put me on, put me on hold. And then um, he came back to me and he said, he said, oh, we've just been informed by the manufacturer that that flooring is no longer available. So I didn't know what to say. I kind of froze and was like, hang on a minute, but you know, it's on order. It's supposed to be delivered next week. Like, how did I get as far as paying for it? you know, which was nearly a thousand pounds when the bloody thing wasn't even in stock, you know? So he said, yeah, I'm really sorry. We've just been told um, you can get a full refund or you can come into our store and order a different flooring. So we decided to go in and just have a look at what else they had um, and just try to match it with the sofa because the sofa was in store but they didn't have anything in the laminate that we liked. That colour was the perfect colour. The only really light colour that, well, light but not too light, you know? Um, it was so perfect. And yeah, they ha they still had it on display as well. And I said, you, you know, you really should take this off display if it's not available to order. So yeah, couldn't find anything in the laminate. So we looked at the other range that they had there and they had um, a flooring called LVT. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of it. I kind of had heard of it because in the house we've just bought, they actually have it in the bathroom and the kitchen. So I was a bit familiar with it. Anyway, I saw a really, really nice colour that I liked in the LVT. Matched it up with the sofa, it went perfectly and asked a few questions about it. Apparently it was, you know, really, really good. It's, it's becoming quite popular. It's waterproof. Um, and yeah, it just sounded good. And it's a little bit cheaper than laminate. So we just decided to stay with them seeing as they had our money anyway. It was just a matter of them refunding us. I know they could have gave us all our money back and we could have gone elsewhere, but at that point, I just couldn't really be bothered. And I know that's bad of me. I should have made more of an effort to look around at maybe like B&Q, you know, the bigger stores that do laminate. But I really couldn't be bothered. And I just, we just decided to go with this LVT. So the laminate that we'd ordered originally was about 900 pounds. Whereas this LVT stuff worked out just over 500. So we did get a refund. And we put the order in and we just decided to go with the LVT. 
Bearing in mind, LVT needs to be laid on flat flooring, whereas laminate you can pretty much lay on top of anything. The LVT, because it's thinner, it has to be laid on a flat surface. So we made sure that our floor in the living room was flat by calling someone up that we thought would know. Um, like cut a long story short, <clears throat> turns out that underneath the carpet there is actually tiles, old tiles from donkeys years ago and the guy that we were speaking to, sorry about that my memory card just cut out because it said it was full. So yeah, I was saying the guy that we originally had to fit the flooring, um, once he saw the flooring, so we got the flooring delivered basically, we got the LVT delivered and we was going to go with our own fitter, but our own fitter, once he saw the flooring, said that he couldn't fit it because basically you can get two types of LVT, you can get the glued out ones or you can get the clicky ones and the ones that we have in the kitchen and the bathroom are the clicky ones, which is what he fitted, so he can only fit the click ones. So he basically said he can't do it and then he looked under the carpet and said that there's tiles under it and that it would need to be screeded anyway, which he doesn't do. So at this point we had been told that the flooring was flat underneath and it wasn't really. And then we had to now find a fitter to fit this flooring which is, you know, not every floor layer can fit this flooring. So we decided to go back to that company, Fab Furniture, and get one of their fitters to do it. I had to wait about two weeks for someone to call me, which was a whole nother argument, which I won't go into. In the end, he called me up. He said he will come around the following week. It all, all happened very quickly once he'd called me, which was great. So I explained to him what was underneath the carpet. He said it would definitely need to be screeded. At this point, it was 500 to fit the LVT and 500 to screed the flooring. So that's a thousand pounds just to lay the bloody stuff. But we thought, you know what, it is what it is because we get a refund from the laminate, which was about £400. That technically pays for it all. At this point, we just want to get some flooring down and be done with it. And we want it to look good. So we we rather just, you know, just do it that way. But obviously, in the next clip you'll see, we actually ended up taking the tiles up ourselves because I think originally he was going to uh, screed on top of the tiles. But the tiles were coming up so easily that we decided to just take them all up, which you'll see in the video. So, yeah, basically he said, you know, it's, it's best that I just screed it because otherwise if anything goes wrong in the next year, you're not really guaranteed because I gave you the option and you kind of went against it. So we decided to just get it done. So that was the whole flooring situation. It might not sound stressful, but in the moment, and this was over a good few months, this has been going on for a couple months, not even a couple months, we haven't even been here a couple months, but it's been going on what feels like forever. And it's just really, really stressful. And yeah, so it's been a process, but we got there in the end and yeah you guys are going to see the process of it so that's just a little rundown of what happened and what flooring we've got basically so the one we have i don't know if i said that is the glue one so you have to screed it put some glue stuff down and then kind of glue it together sounds crazy but wait till the end and you'll see the end result and it looks good so yeah I hope you enjoy watching and I will see you at the end.
open up the grippers around the side. As you can see, someone's glued them down. So it's they're a lot harder than normal to get up. That's the glue underneath. So I've just done all there. Done all down there. Harry's doing there. My dad's doing that side. Yeah, I'm just using this and it's luckily lifting pretty easily this side. And then any nails I just have to pull out with a hammer. Like that one there. Quite satisfying, but a bit of pain. So this is the flooring after we've taken up the carpet and the underlay. So, wow, as you can see, pretty crazy, right? Um, actually, let me show you from, so echoey. So there's actually tiles down, they're tiles, but we have started taking some of them up because they're actually really easy to pull up. So Harry got a bit carried away in the hallway, as you can see the difference. So I think, are you gonna finish off taking them all up? Oh, fun. So it's Sunday night, it's about seven o'clock and we've literally just stopped doing what we're doing because the day has just, it's just been another busy one um, and I've got work tomorrow so but the flooring is being done on Tuesday so we need to get as much done as we can yeah yeah we can't walk on this in bare feet but yeah this is like the excess that we've that we'll, Harry's um, kind of dug up but yeah crazy so basically what they need to do is um, Actually, at the beginning of this video, I would have given a little bit of a rundown of what we're having done um, and the process of it because it is a little bit confusing. So I won't repeat myself, but all I'll say is it just needs to be a flat surface for them to lay the flooring that we have. So we think that taking up the tile might be a little bit better because because they're coming up so easily, you know, it might just be easy for us to take them all up and it might already be flat enough to not have to screed it but i don't know so yeah anyway just thought i'd show you what it looks like we're taking up all the grippers around the side i'll just show you the hallway as well so the hallway there's no tiles this is just whatever it is underneath um concrete so look at the state of it it's filthy yeah concrete and glue residue so yeah, I'll be glad when this is all done because oh, it's just, it's been the pain in my life for these last few weeks. So yeah, anyway, I will probably next check in, maybe I'll check in when we've taken up all the tiles and then show you what it looks like then. Well, Harry's dead on the floor. <laughs> Good morning everyone, so I just thought I'd show you, again, nothing has happened to the floor, but today's the day that it's going to be screeded. Um, we was actually advised by the floor fitter that they are advised to screed um, on any flooring. I mean, even though this is pretty flat, this is like old ad adhesive, he said, and you know, in years to come, if our flooring was to end up looking crap, we can't really blame him because it was our choice to not have the screed in, if that makes sense. So I think we're just gonna go with it. I know it's a pain because it is gonna cost us 500 pounds to screed this whole room and the hallway. But if it means it looks good, which is what we want, 
and it's going to last longer, then, you know, I'm down for that. I'd rather, I'd rather pay the money and get it done properly, you know? So last night we came home and we did, we hoovered everything so it's all nice and clean. We've got like an industrial hoover that we borrowed off um, a family member and yeah, everywhere is nice and clean. So he's coming today. The time currently is about 7 a.m. He's coming about half nine to start screeding it. And then um, by the time we get home tonight, it will be all done. And then he's gonna come back tomorrow and actually fit, fit the floor in. So yeah, I'll update you tonight when it's been screeded. Hey everyone, so it's the next morning from the last clip that you would have seen. And as you can see on the floor, it has been screeded. So it is very flat and smooth. Actually, it was really nice to walk on. I'm just, well, gonna leave for work shortly. I don't know if I said Harry's brushing his teeth, so he not the noise in the background. What I thought I could do, because um, the flooring is actually going to be fitted today, so when I get in from work tonight, the flooring hopefully would have all been fitted if he can do it all today. So I'm really, really excited. I'm going to film my reaction because obviously I've seen, let me pick you up because I'm going to do my back in standing like that. So obviously I've seen the flooring in the packaging and obviously in store, but I haven't seen it down. So I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna record my reaction when I come home this evening. Harry's actually going out this evening, so he won't be with me, but you can get my reaction. So yeah, I thought I would just kind of show you what it looks like as screed, well, screeded. So, this is what it looks like. It's all flat and smooth, ready to go. And the hallway as well. Just got something sharp in my shoe. So yeah, this is the hallway. So I will check in later this evening when I get in from work and you guys can see my reaction. So I've just got home and I'm about to see the flooring for the first time. Right, I'm going to need two hands. Oh, no. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, my God. It looks so good. I'll show you in a minute. Let me just put the lights on. So, oh, sorry, I'm vlogging on my phone because obviously I didn't take my camera to work. Um, oh my God. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, let me, let me turn you around one sec. I've just switched to my camera as well, so it should be better quality. But this is what the flooring looks like. Obviously, out here in the hallway, we've got spotlights. So, obviously, it's going to be, it's going to look lighter. Whereas in the living room, we've actually gone for the warm, um, warm white. So, it's going to kind of look different. It's going to look darker. But I'll show you in daylight as well. I'll show you tomorrow morning, maybe. When I wake up and see it in proper daylight because it is dark outside. But yeah, I am obsessed with how it looks. It's just how I wanted it. The color is perfect. It's, oh, it's really echoing here. Um, it's really, really gonna go with everything that I envisioned. And envisioned, is that a word? Visioned, you know what I mean. I mean, I'll just show you a close up the flooring oh, I'm so pleased it really really does open up the room doesn't it I knew it would we're gonna put all of our furniture back in tomorrow I think so for tonight I'll just leave it leave it bare but yay I'm so so happy so yeah I'll vlog us putting our sofas uh, yeah our sofa back in tomorrow we'll probably do that tomorrow evening when we get home from work 
and oh my god, there's a big daddy long legs look. Ugh. I'll show you it tomorrow in proper daylight, but this is it for now. I might vlog Harry's reaction later as, later when he gets home as well. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased. So, oh, thank God that's all over. <laughs> Good morning everyone. So we have put our sofas back in the room but we just undecided on where to actually put them because before they were here. So what we've kind of tried to do is pretend that because we're we've ordered a two and a three so far, we're trying to pretend that like if that's for example the three and then that's the two and try and angle it how we would maybe have it on this side of the room. But I said to Harry it's really hard because this sofa is a completely different style to the one that we're ordering. You know, it's just a lot more thicker and chunkier and yeah, I just feel like it's it's kind of hard to, you know, imagine it how it would actually be. So I'll just stand right back. I mean, I, I like the idea of having it that side of the room because that is the bigger side of the room because you've got that wall that comes out there. But... I don't know, we're just going to play about with it. I said, to be honest, we should just leave it until the new sofa comes and then decide because, do you know what I mean? You might as well just wait for the new sofa because then you know how it's going to look. So, yeah, we just literally planted it there last night. Um, I don't think we're going to move it. Maybe later on tonight when we get home from work, but it could just stay there for now. We haven't put anything else in here. We've literally just put the sofa in here. So we'll gradually start moving our back, stuff back in, like our TV and TV unit, which can just go anywhere for now. If we was to have it this side of the room, I'd have to consider maybe getting that radiator. Oh, sorry, you're not in focus. Yeah, having this radiator removed and having a vertical one. Because I just don't like like the idea of a radiator being underneath a TV. So, and I maybe in the future would love a, like a fireplace or something. You know, like one of those kind of like fake looking fireplaces that you can get put on the wall. And yeah, I just, I just think I would rather a vertical one. So, I don't know how easy that would be. I mean, we've got another big radiator here. So yeah, we're just not sure yet. So, I will keep you updated. But... This is what it looks like for now. What do you think? How good does it look? I'm so happy with it. Like I said, it's the perfect colour. It, it matches with everything. And I can really just vision how the living room is going to look once we get all of our furniture and our new sofas. And yeah, it's going to look so good. So I'm really, really pleased with it. I hope that it, in a year's time, it still looks as good and we don't have any issues. Um, not going to say no more. Don't want to manifest anything. I'm just going to add this clip in real quick But I didn't mention that the carpet that we had down before Was pretty much new carpet the previous owner laid the carpet. He got all new carpets around the house so They'd literally been down for like a couple months So my cousin's actually gonna have them um, well the carpet that was in the living room um, and the underlay and everything so we're not gonna chuck it because it would have killed me to chuck it because it's like brand new basically so yeah he's gonna have it and um yeah we basically just rolled it up and gave it to him so that's all good yeah i mean like you saw in the last clip it's not really kind of finished because we just dumped the sofas in and we haven't really put them in a position as such because we don't really know where to put them at the moment uh, because we've still got another probably month and a half until our sofas come. So yeah, we've still got a bit of a wait for that. But yeah, so we're probably not going to do anything until the sofas come and then it will probably be a whole nother kind of um, living room transformation, I guess. So yeah, 
we'll hang on for that i don't want to rush into anything i want to do it properly so i hope you guys enjoyed watching thank you for watching and hopefully i will see you all in my next one Thank <laughs> you.